Organization in Evernote is paramount. We've gone through that with a lot of our series already in the Evernote series about para, about file and notes, how to actually organize it. But when we talk about productivity, it's really all about how quickly you can move within a system to get your content flowing, to get your project management going and not having to really skip a beat. Now, today we're gonna to jump into Evernote and I'm gonna talk about backlinks and why backlinks are so important and vital if you wanna be productive when working on a project or whatever it is. So let's go ahead and jump into Evernote. So the first thing to understand is what is a backlink? Well, if you think about it in terms of like a, a regular website, if we go to um, our production website here, and we go to the blogs, this is how you rank for SEO a bunch, is if you put backlinks into your blog, right? It's different links to different things. So you can see we're talking about the housing market. If I, this is a backlink right here. It's, well, it's really called a hyperlink inside the blogs. But if I click on this, it takes us to something else which is relevant to the topic, okay? So you can go in and start searching for homes if you click on that link. If I come here, boom, it'll take me to like the buyer's funnel inside of our website and all that good stuff. So that's backlinks inside of like a website, a blog post. It connects things so you can keep shifting from one thing to the other. You've seen it on multiple blog articles. Everything that you look at has backlinks. So what does it look like inside of notes? Basically, we're gonna link notes to other notes that are relevant to each other so that the pathways are super clear and you don't have to think about where the other note is and what should I look at next and where should I go? It's all gonna be linked in and done here for you. Now, in terms of organization, we've looked at one of these already, right? We've looked at this table of contents, how to build a table of contents. These are all backlinks, okay? So you could do it as like this, you know, having a complete notebook dialed in backlinks in like a table of contents. And that's great for an overview of what you're working on, but inside of notes when you're going to and fro, this doesn't really help too much. So let's jump into uh, a notebook here. Um, let's jump into content creation. And I'm going to show you how I would use this and, and set things up. So you can see there's not a ton of notes in here, but there are some pretty interesting pieces of uh, different things I've got from content creators, how to win inside of content, how to do things differently. So let's look at this note right here. So this is like my kind of content schedule, if you like, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I post on YouTube and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I post short form content on Instagram. That's kind of how I do things, what I do. But really when I'm looking at this, like long form, there is, you know, a strategy for what I'm trying to do, right? Um, if I look at, you know, maybe this note right here, seven strategies for creating content that drives killer brands and businesses. Cool, that's what I want. So here, I might be working on this and I'm gonna say YouTube long form and I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna to go to note link. I'm gonna go into my areas, content creation and the seven strategies right here, boom, insert. And that link is gonna be right there for me to check out and look at. Now it's this size because this text is this size. If I did it below this right here and added the same link, it would be smaller and a little less obnoxious. Boom, here, so right like there. Now, the cool thing is here as well, guys, you can keep it as this link right here or you can go here and go to preview and it will actually show you a little preview of the notes. So some people like that kind of big preview there I think it kind of clogs up my notes the way I look at things. Um, so I like to bring it back. You can go to title as well and it will kind of have this kind of note stuck out there. But I just like to really have it in a link like that. I know if, if it's highlight green, I know it's a link for Evernote. So this is cool, right? Because now I can be like, okay, seven, you know, when I'm looking at my schedule, looking at long form now, I can just click and it will go straight to this link. But the beautiful thing is, the other link, the other note right here is already linked up now. These these notes have been joined together um, cognitively inside of Evernote. So now I can see like, if I pull up this note and I'm reading through this, I can see, okay, there's backlinks on this note. There's relevant notes that have this inside it. I can click here. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's actually content calendar. And I can put it in here and it's all dialed in and linked together. So let's go back to another one. So for short form, for instance, I might want to go here, add a note link, areas, content creation, and I might want this E2I equals E, and that's a formula from Andy Frisella on content. And I want that for short form, okay? It's all about like specifically, you know, short form content, staying aggressive, education, entertainment, and impact equals engagement. Super cool. I thought it was very, very interesting to have that. So I'm gonna add that in there. 
So now I have this again, I can click straight into this and again, it's backlinked right there. So you can now like create pathways between notes. And this is like the big selling point of Obsidian. If you've ever seen Obsidian, you can build out these like crazy graphs, which all these notes are interconnected and all this stuff. And it's really, really cool. Uh, for me, this is just a lot cleaner and it helps a lot for what I'm trying to do. So I might be looking through a, a big note like this and I'm reading it and I'm going through it and I'm like, oh, this is interesting. That kind of relates to uh, another note that I took uh, a while ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it in here. I'm gonna go to this, here, whatever, boom, pow, I'm gonna drop that in there. So that note's just there for me if I wanna check it out, you know, to be successful is to make familiar concepts and make them new and the, and the note I just dropped in, I could be like, oh, what was it again? Oh yeah, it's this thing. This isn't a relevant note, it doesn't matter. But and then I can just go right back to my note that I was working on and jump back. So you can go to and fro all of your notes with super ease, super response, the ones that are connected, for me, like a big thing that I'm going to start doing is actually a lot of my notes inside of jujitsu, right? So you know, if if you train jujitsu or whatever that looks like, there's so many different techniques and different things that you have to be looking at and different pathways to positions and submissions. So instead of all these tags all being here, all in everything else like this, I could be more um, using my backlinks to source different positions and submissions and stuff like that. Now, if you're not in jujitsu, this is all gobbledygook, complete nerd stuff, but it's pretty powerful for this. So this is something that I'm probably gonna start doing inside of Evernote in my jujitsu thing. Um, and it might even be like recipes and different things. So it's really just organization and connecting pathways to different notes that can keep your mind running. So again, the whole goal of this kind of stuff is not having to think about what was that note I took again? Okay, where did I put that? It's somewhere else. Now in Evernote, where all systems go. We have things dialed in with our folders. We have tags, we have backlinks, we have everything going on so it's all connected, which takes away your ability to have to remember where things are and things just pop up when you need them, pop up when you're trying to research things and it's a phenomenal way to run things. So check out Backlinks guys, it's a very powerful way of starting to connect notes, connect neurological pathways between things and go back and forth when you're researching, especially if you have a big folder full of a ton of different notes, you can backlink it all and it's really powerful. So check it out, let me know what you think about this kind of method and if you use this yourself, let me know, comment below and I'll see you on the next one.